let's talk about Spiral Dynamics Stage Green. Now, if you've noticed the last three or four videos on my channel have been around Spiral Dynamics, as I try to describe my own understanding of this theory that was created by Clara Graves and then championed by Don Beck over the last 60, 70, 80 years. And in particular, I've wanted to discuss stage blue, orange, and green, as they are the three stages that I feel like I have the most personal life experience in as I've grown up throughout my life. In this video, we're gonna talk about spiral dynamic stage green, and really this is the, the current phase that I feel like, or the current stage that I really feel like I am in. But before I discuss my own personal experience and how I traveled from orange through to green, or how I've been influenced by a lot of green, and maybe haven't completed orange as a stage, that I can say that I've really knocked it out of the park, but I definitely feel like stage green has really influenced my thinking now and the way that I'm going to describe stage green definitely explains part of the world where I live, Canada, Vancouver area, uh, very sort of liberal west coast sort of thoughts and vibes and philosophies here. But anyway, before I get into that and my own personal experience, let's talk about spiral dynamic stage green. I've got my notes in front of me, so I really hit off some of the targets here. So I will be using those right here in front of me because I don't want to just talk off my head and actually miss something that is key. So here, stage green, what is stage green all about? Okay, well stage green is back to a we part of spiral dynamics where orange was I and blue was we. There's a little bit of a similarity when it comes to we with blue but this we rather than being sacrificing yourself for the organization you're sacrificing yourself for the community of the world it's it's a larger scope it, it, it's here it's like a so, socio-centric and equality uh, so it's you care about the community you care about we in larger terms rather than just the small we of I only care about Catholics or I only care about Protestants or I only care about Muslims or I only care about this corporation I work for or I only care about this country. Uh, Green starts taking a bit more of a worldview, a community view, uh, a bit more of like we're all in this together. When it comes to the individual within Green, you're in life to find meaning uh, through your life or meaning through your work. You're also in life as part of personal growth to be in harmony with yourself and in nature where orange personal development, uh, the stage, the older stage, is more about pulling yourself up by the bootstraps, personal success, and orange people will see the world as a marketplace where green people will see the world as a community. So they're, 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 that's the difference that you'll see between orange and green and that's the difference that I'm gonna talk about a little bit through my own journey. I have always said I'm not... Um, I'm not against capitalism, but I think capitalism uh, in the hands of nefarious people who are in stage orange is a bad thing. So that's why capitalism needs to be underwritten by very strong um, socialist welfare sort of uh, programs. So you'd almost say that capitalism is great, but it needs to have checks and balances. And I think that's the fine margin or the fine a nuance that countries like Canada, parts of Scandinavia are really trying to work upon. Yes, have a free market, go make your money, but also we need to care about this, these people, this society, we need to be diverse, those, those things. Countries around the world that we have a lot of this uh, ideas come from, Scandinavia, uh, New Democrats in America, um, socialist underpinning of capitalism. Um, we know we have parts of the UK and the US that have that. California would, in the US would be a fantastic example of a green state compared to some of the blue and orange states in, in, in um, America. Uh, I think a lot of the states in America, especially when the Bible Belt are, are still very much blue. Uh, and then the coastal states like your Washington, your Oregon's, your New York states, you might find it there leaning more into green theories and philosophies. But Scandinavia is definitely leading the way. Some of the, uh, some of the sort of more forward thinking government policies in the world are coming out of Denmark, Sweden, Norway, and places like that. If I was orange, what would I think of green? And then also let's talk about if I was yellow, what I would think of green. Orange people pretty much think green are confused, um, slow and don't get a lot of stuff done because they're in a state of general consensus. So orange people see green as sort of a little bit more new age, a little bit more woohoo, a little more out there, but also orange people think, hey, you're not actually getting anything done. You're just sitting in a circle group talking about things, having a lot of opinions. Also, yellow has similar thoughts. Where yellow is coming from, which is second tier thinking. So yellow is the first tier that has really conquered 
orange and green and, and been able to take up all the other levels of the spiral and move into the second tier and, and what some of them yellow gets triggered by with green is that they see green people or they notice that green people think that their truth is the only truth that a lot of green liberal people uh or, or green spiral dynamics people um are so caught up in their own truth that they're not willing to listen to other people they also uh touch on yellow people will touch on the fact that because green is back to a we concept that they they, they lean too far into equality that they start to remove personal freedom from other people uh that they almost fall into the trap of blue thinking uh you know you're not one of us how did i travel through orange to green well i really do think one of the reasons why i traveled through orange to green is basically living in vancouver for the past 10 years i do think vancouver is a very liberal city it really does have a unique sense about it where i think you can be anything you want to be here gender wise sexuality wise uh, you know you, you can identify whatever you want and a lot of organizations and a lot of you, you, a lot of places here especially in downtown vancouver and some of the suburbs around in, in that lower mainland area you really have the ability to express yourself a hundred percent as who you want to be and that's a fantastic 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 thing i don't think there's many places in the world that have that i think you could there's probably pockets around the world there might be some countries in, in scandinavia obviously where you can do that some cities within europe um you know but obviously when you get start getting outside of the cities and this is even the same for vancouver when you start traveling out into the so the deep suburbs of the country you expressing yourself in that way can maybe rub people up the wrong way but that's why I think that my self has changed through Orange. I definitely, when I first arrived in Canada 10 years ago, and over the, last, the first three or four years, I was all about making a bit more money. I was all about doing as much as I can to improve myself in a sense of just financial gain. Now I'm thinking more about with being married, with my family. I'm thinking more about how I can improve things around me. I'm, I'm thinking about you know corporate responsibility, sustainability. These are these are terms that I hear a lot more about. Do I get a little bit upset about them because I feel like a lot of marketing within north america or especially within the vancouver so sort of like there's almost marketers are always jumping on that bandwagon now and selling to us uh, selling to people who are stage green because they are stage green themselves or they see an, a, a gap in the market where oh here these people are into sustainability these people are in to social uh responsibility so we're going to sell that as part of our uh, you know as part of our our organization's brand and i don't know how much truth there is in it because you know you've really got to go deep sometimes with some of these organizations uh, to make sure that when they're writing small batch or organic uh, on the side of their 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 products gluten-free on the side of water which i have seen i've actually seen a company have gluten-free on a water bottle uh, you know if you don't get that joke quickly google it uh, and you know it's, it's important that we're aware of these things but being within a society that allows people to be who they want has definitely changed me i have definitely changed as a person where money no longer satisfies me in the sense that it's not it's probably in my top five things because i know it's part of the game it's part of the, the the reality that we live in it's part of the the building blocks of wanting to navigate through the system solve the maze get out the other side and, and have that personal freedom that i'd love in my life so i'm not going to throw away any sort of focus on money and also that's one thing that i do find that i've come up against in vancouver is there is a sort of general i don't know type of person that maybe was born here grew up here has only ever really been in green maybe went through blue or other stages in high school you know as you're evolving as a person but you just go through them because that's your mental capabilities are growing older but really since their late teenage or early 20s they've always been within this green uh, sort of society and i do feel like i've come across people that are very opinionated uh but yet don't do a lot about it where there's a lot of this going on uh, a lot of this sorry going on but not a lot of actual you know people taking that gandhi quote be the change you want to see in the world into their own action and actually doing something about it like obviously there is uh, and obviously that's where our, a lot of these organizations that are selling to us when i refer back to the market you're coming from where people taking action but I have, I've, I've noticed people uh, around about the same age group as me, very opinionated, very liberal, very, 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 very smart people, but they've never had to go through orange. So they're still kind of like, 
where they were when I met them 10 years ago or five years ago, still in the same kind of wage category, still kind of doing the same kind of jobs, still kind of doing the same kind of thing. And I don't know whether that's about everybody in life or maybe I'm just making a generalization from my own experience. However, I think that people who've never had to like really work for it when it comes to like money or wealth, when they've never actually had their backs against the wall uh, in a sense or had to like evolve, I think that that is a, a hindrance. And I think that's that possibly could be where we're heading now with a lot of people being born into these liberal cities, a lot of people being born uh, and brought up by liberal parents that they don't really understand that work ethic that maybe comes out of blue and orange because blue work ethic, stage blue would have been you're sacrificing yourself for your corporation or your country. And then orange would have been like your personal development, you're going after it yourself, you're making that money, you're doing that success, you're creating your business, you're having your YouTube channel, you're doing what you have to do to be successful. Where green is kind of more of like, well, it's a consensus, it's a community. There's whatever it is, it's just this constant kind of like anti other people chatter with a lot of opinions from a lot of liberals. And I can see why a lot of orange and a lot of blue and a lot of yellow stage people just want to just get off this and actually do something with your life. Do the things that you say you're going to do. Live that life. That to me is somebody who's traveling through the spiral dynamics rather than just hovering around within their stage. And that can be the same the stage for a super competitive, uh, oh, gotta make money, don't care about anybody else. Orange person, it can be said about the, the uber religious, um, no, I'm not gonna change my mind because it, that, you know I'm not gonna accept gay people because it doesn't say, you can, it says you can't be gay in the Bible, does it? I don't think it does. But you know, so I'm, I'm gonna uh, you know not change my mind and I could, that's a blue stage blue person. So at every stage, what I have to say, you can get into it. There's a, there's a bad side and a good side to every stage. And I do think, I, I tend to lean on the bad side within these videos because I feel like I see them when I was in orange and when I'm in green, when I was in blue uh, in the different stages. But that's what I like talking about because the good side of Spiral Dynamics is moving up through it, blue, orange, green, and then the second tier, yellow. The bad side is getting stuck in those categories way too long and really seeing the worst of it. Blue, uber religious, um, super uh, against anybody else isn't from your community. Orange, way too greedy, way too focused on making money. And then green would be way over to the consensus side of things. Everything needs to be more quality and you sacrifice personal freedom over quality. So it's a dangerous line there. Anyway, that's my last video on the three main stages of spiral dynamics and my own opinions of where they can go wrong and how I've kind of traveled through them. I hope you enjoyed them. Uh, I'm going to stop talking about spiral dynamics for the next couple of videos. I might come back and do a wrap up one or how I've used it in my own life, but we'll see how we go uh, in a couple of, of weeks and a couple more videos. Anyway, thanks for watching all the way through this stage. I really do appreciate it. Make comments below, share a like, subscribe, all that stuff. Who actually really cares? Just enjoy the videos, make some comments and let's, uh, let's see each other next time. Cheers. Bye.